So my, my cat, where is it? Look at this. My cat got me this morning. Yeah. Try to hide that. It's not going to get hidden. And now you guys are just going to constantly be looking at it, aren't you? I'll do this. Better? Maybe? Yeah, I was holding her and she just got spooked and claws. I'm wounded. Yeah. Anyways, in one of my previous, like, vlog videos, I was talking about how I wanted to possibly set up, like, a live system using, like, my MacBook. I have a M1 MacBook Pro. And I wanted to set up like a little live station so I'd have a capture card and my camera and a microphone and a monitor and for, for seeing like the YouTube channel while it's being put out live and I'd have maybe a gaming console and maybe a TV or a monitor so that I could, uh, well, play the game or do whatever, right? Because maybe I want to play a game while I'm talking to you guys. What, whatever it is. I, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, one of the limitations, of course, of the M1, the original M1 MacBook Pro, was that it, it only has two, uh, like, USB-C ports, USB-C Thunderbolt ports. And it kind of limits the amount of stuff that I can plug in, including things like monitors and just peripherals. So, uh, I was kind of trying to figure out what, what I could use. And then, lo and behold... These folks, these folks here, uh, for your PC is what I'm guessing that is, for your PC, for your PC. Because I looked at their website and I'm like, what is for your PC, for your, I, I get it, right? Um, USB-C triple 4K display docking station. Yeah, this, this could be, uh, uh, the perfect solution. Maybe, maybe it's the perfect, perfect dock. Maybe it's the perfect USB hub for, for your MacBook or Windows computer. Maybe. Okay, so let's, let's, right off the bat, for your PC, these guys make like all kinds of like docking stations for your PC, laptop docking station, dual monitor, and they're all like really, they look like nice and beefy and they're cool looking. I have to say they're all kind of cool looking. So when For Your PC reached out to me, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll take whatever, right? Um, but I would like it to have that ability to at least hook dual monitors in. And they asked which laptop I had, and then they're like, hey, we'll send you this one because uh, this one, see, for Windows and MacBook Pro laptops, especially the M1, the M1 seemed to be the kicker. Uh, so they're not, just to throw it out there, they're not inexpensive, right? Uh, this is looking at $220 US dollars for this. $220 US dollars for this one. Now, I always have to think, and you guys have to think too, right? Um, depending on what your needs are, $200 US dollars may be a, 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 good, a good bang for your buck, right? It's, you'd be like, that's perfect. I have no problem spending that. And I honestly wouldn't either. I'd have no problem spending $200 uh, on, on a device that is going to allow me to do what I need it to do versus spending less money on products that won't do it, you know? So you always have to kind of think about uh, price per performance versus needs versus, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this is the one I got here. Uh, 61 reviews, 61 reviews, uh, five star, everybody loves it. And it says MacBook Pro laptops uh, and Windows. USB-C triple 4K. That's pretty amazing. So let's let's look at the specs here. It's a perfect choice for extending your USB-C laptop to a dual monitor slash triple monitor setup. Supports up to triple 4K displays, dual 4K 60 hertz, and one 4K. My guess would be like a 30 hertz. Yeah, 30 hertz. So still two 4K 60s, which is amazing, plus an additional 4K 30. Uh, yeah. Compatible devices, MacBook Pro 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and, and this is it here, and MacBook Pro M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max. So I think that's why, because it has that 14-in-1 solution. So it should have just about all the ports you could ever want on this thing, which is great. Uh, connect six USB peripherals, connect up to five USB devices and one USB-C device with the USB-C triple dual 4K, yep. Strong USB-C features, uh, provides compatible Windows 
USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 systems with up to three additional displays, 60 watts of charging, which is perfect for me with the M1 because 60 is, is all I really need. And it says here, this is a big one, important notice before purchasing this USB-C dual docking station, please make sure your USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 ports can enable features such as USB-C alternative mode, alt mode, and USB-C power delivery charging. Any questions, feel free to contact us. And when I was back and forth with them, they were really good. Uh, and again, I had thought of a different USB-C docking station and they were like, what machine do you have? Uh, no, we'd recommend this one, et cetera, et cetera, because of uh, issues. Now, this is, there is compatible system and driver download setup, two year warranty, cool. And yeah, they, they kind of show it here. It looks like running their own software. So, oh, I do need to get Display Link Mac OS software. So I will have to download a driver for this, it looks like. So just kind of be aware, but we'll, we'll do that. Get her, get her going. First off, here's, here's the box. USB-C triple 4K display docking station. Now it's, again, it's it's one of the bigger, uh, USB, I'll say USB-C hubs, but they consider it a USB-C docking station. So uh, working indicator light, HDMI one, right? Uh, 4K 30, HDMI two, driver, driver based 4K 60, display port, driver based 4K 60, uh, three USB three, two USB twos, one USB gen one, USB-C, SD and micro SD card slots, uh, RG45, it actually has RG45. Three and a half millimeter audio, 65 watt power supply. This, honestly, this, you know, uh, let's say you have a MacBook Pro like I do, and you're just wanting to have, uh, I don't know, this is gonna give you all the ports you could possibly ever think that you were missing, plus more. And I like the fact that it kinda, it looks like this, so if you have a, you have your computer here, you just kind of have it sitting up on the side. Awesome, I, awesome. <sighs> thank you. Well, thank you, because you guys, well, you guys sent it to me. Uh, there's their, you guys can see it, a little support, if you guys need support on this. And, uh, so it's, it is, I don't want to say it's, uh, I, I almost expected it to be larger, but it's not. So first off, before we go anywhere, this is a box of, box of goodies. My guess is this is gonna be like your power adapter, would be my, and it's got, it's a hefty power adapter, so be aware of that, you know, which makes sense. So this is gonna go, this is going into, okay, so we have a cable that's gonna go into your computer. I like that they supply that though, and they should for when you're spending over $200, right? There's a USB-C cable, good, good length and your power. So this of course is gonna go into, my guess would go into the actual docking station and this is gonna go into the wall, et cetera, et cetera. Very nice. Uh, you do get underneath here, user manual. So register, you get 24 months, excellent. That's a nice big manual. Okay guys, that's a win. That's excellent, look at that. There's your displays. So you get MacBook and three additional displays. You are rocking out, you know? So if you, it looks like if you do it just normally, you can do a mirror mode, which you, you, it's, and I've seen this with a lot of USB-C hubs that even claim like three displays or two displays, sorry. It's basically your MacBook and uh, a mirror display and another mirror display, which I'm like, I don't understand why you need that, but some, maybe someone do, does. But this one allows you to go laptop, mirror, and then two different ones, which is awesome, especially if you're gonna go into like a clamshell mode. So the big thing here to realize is that it's kind of, it's three displays, right? One, it's not MacBook is one, and then two, three, four. It's a total of three external monitors that one of those is gonna always mirror the MacBook monitor and then two separate ones, but still triple display. That's, that's fantastic. Even on my iMac, I only run dual display and that's using one of the Macs as, as a display. Oh, maybe not. Look at this. Uh, this one says for Windows. Windows maybe and Mac. One, two, three, four. Oh man, so you can get four. Four displays, what the heck? All right, well, well, I don't I don't even know if I have four displays. 
So, at three displays. Do I have three displays? I don't even know if I have three displays. We'll have to, I got two. And, and, I may be able to do, I may be able to do three, maybe, maybe, with a TV, we'll see. And, last but not least, last but not least, we get, there it is. That's all right. Look at all the ports on it. It almost seems ridiculous how many ports are on this, right? So you look at this side, you got your power, two hosts, which is what your USB-C cable, HDMI, HDMI, uh, DP cable. Now uh, you need to have one of these. I don't, I may have one because one of my monitors I think maybe supports it. There's your LAN, USB-C, there's your three uh, USBs, two USB-2 ports, one USB-3 port. We spin it around. Two additional USB 3 ports, mic port, audio port, and your memory card and micro. Okay, that's and that's just gonna sit. That's gonna sit like that. You guys see that, right? That's gonna that's gonna be fantastic. And and of course, uh, I'm gonna plug this. And if you have a computer like I like I does, sitting here like so, that's just gonna sit nicely right there. And you are gonna have a couple cables coming off it. That's just part and parcel of it, right? Um, this, but it's a, the nice thing is it's, think of it really, it's a docking station. So this would be sitting on your desk all the time. This goes to host. And whenever you're back, back at the office, back at your desk, then you would, you would plug in. That's going there. I want to see if it says, I think it says that there's like lights. This I'm plugging in here. Yeah, this would be sitting at your desk all the time. So I do get an indicator light. You guys may be able to see it there. You get indicator light on, on here just to show that there's actual power. And then this going down there. Oh yeah, you do get a little, there's a little green light there on the front. You guys can possibly see that there. Just to show that it's getting power. Anything on this side? No, just on the, just on the top. They're, they're, uh, you know what, maybe revision two, they'd be like, okay, so, and now we're gonna make this gaming. So we're gonna put some cool RGB lights on there. Not that that's important. So first off, I just wanna see if it's functioning. So if I came in here and put my SD card in, ready? Is it just a, a slide? Does it have a click? Okay, so it goes in. Now, just realize, uh, you guys can see it there. It, it, it goes in, it doesn't slide in or click or anything like that. It's, it's, you just kind of push it in as far as it goes, but it showed up. It's right there. You know, there it is sitting on there. Perfect. If I take it out, of course it ejects and, and that means, uh, just so you guys are aware, it's, uh, teeth, I see teeth, right? This down. So, uh, my guess is the same thing with this. Is this going to just go in a little ways? It's hard, it's hard to tell. I think it was that way. Okay. That's in as well. Nice. Perfect. What more do you want? Nothing. Nothing. You don't want any more than that. That's that's good stuff. What else do I have? Anything else to plug in here? Well, I can plug in my laptop. My actual laptop. Ready? So, if I took this, which is my power. Is that right? In theory, all this needed to, to do is nothing. Is this, oh yeah, I don't have to plug in any of this. I'm just like, no, I don't. Yeah, it's charging. There it is, charging. 57 minutes till full. I don't know what I was thinking for. I was like, I'll plug in another cable. No, I don't need to plug in another cable. Okay, that's, see that's, that's a big one too because I got one cable now in here, bunch of extra ports, and I don't lose my USB-C because it's, I got a USB-C pass through here. Plus I gain all my USB threes. Plus I got 60 watts charging. It's all, it's, that's pretty good. All right, I like that. Um, so let's, uh, I'm gonna take this upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna download, I'm gonna see if I can download the software. You guys don't need to watch me do that. But I'm gonna download the software. I'm gonna go upstairs, uh, plug this all in, and uh, see what we can do with a bunch of, bunch of monitors. Yes? Okay, hold on, let's go upstairs. Okay, so number one, I'm just, I'm upstairs sitting on the floor because that's how most of us do this kind of testing. And you guys can see, I've got three 
three going and these are these are mirrored so whatever's on this my MacBook is showing up on the other two now the one thing to also realize like what I did is that if you unplug the docking station or or the MacBook whatever loses power uh, you will have to kind of restart the computer and restart the app and everything to get everything to function um, because it needs to like reinitialize everything during boot up but after that we've got it we've got it in mirror mode so everything is mirroring. Now, as far as I know, all I need to do, I think, uh, is go into my display here, which I'm gonna just do. Easier to look at the, the, big, the big screen. Easier to look at the big screen. Go to my display, and I think all I need to do is display settings. Yeah, see it sees I don't know if you guys can see that. It sees three displays, but it sees them all as MacBooks, right? So, stop mirroring. And now, we should have, and you guys may be able to see it here, I'll just kind of, coming close to my MacBook here, right? It's actually, everything here is set up and this is MacBook Pro, it's all the same, uh, but it's set up as extended displays. So, uh, you have what the R60 Hertz standard, right, this is it. This is the main one, for instance. And then when you come here, you'll see all three. So, uh, you can position them. Now, these are all off for me to the side here, yes? So, I'm gonna actually take this one and put it at the bottom because that's where that one is so we're going to move it from the there to there actually we're going to put it more over here and then we're going to take the big one and put the big one there and the reason for that is that my mouse now should travel from there to that screen yes and then down to that screen yeah okay that's uh that's pretty awesome pretty awesome and the cool thing is too is that uh it is like software driver based right so you you're getting very very cool movement but it's it all it all moves really well so because of that i should now be able to put uh different things on different screens so i'll put i'll put my photos app over here full screen it so there's my photos app on that one. And then I'll put, uh, I don't know, just another piece of software, mail for instance. I'll open mail and put mail down on this one, full screen it. You guys can see it down there. And then I have a working laptop here and everything's, okay, this is, for, for those of us on a laptop, being able to have, and I've only got triple right now but i could add another monitor to this and have one two three four okay yeah, yeah this totally worth worth the 200 bucks for this without question uh i'll put links down below for you guys because there's a there's a few little things during the install of the software that you have to open up you have to uh turn on like your notifications and you have to uh allow like a screen mirroring for the software that you have to download but it explains it all uh, it worked and it works really well super well i didn't have to really do anything to get this to set up it was like first first attempt all right guys links below to the uh for your pc yeah and take a look at all of them and again I, i'd reach out to them reach out to them if you are having any you know questions or concerns about which one is probably best for you and uh they, they definitely got the right one for me all right guys links down below like comment share subscribe hit the little notification bell and uh yeah this that's awesome so awesome later